Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Club Gaming here, bringing you another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be editing all 10 of my loadouts and showing you guys what they are going to be. The reason is, is because, um, as you'll see as I scroll through, a couple of them, um, might be a little different than they should be. So, I have the MP5, I have the Finnick, I have the Glil, that's okay, I have the Adjustable, which is the AK-47, which you don't even use, I have the um, Car 98, or Car 98 k with the AX-50 class, I have the Warzone class, I have the Shotgun class, which I don't even want the Shotgun, I don't even like it, I have the Camo class, which is not what I want it to be, the LMG class, which I don't want it to be, and the Test class, which I don't want it to be. So, for some of these classes, I can keep it the same, um, for example, this class, I can keep it the same because, actually, maybe... Give it more movement speed. I think I'm gonna change that. I think I'm gonna have it like that. Yeah. So this class I can basically keep the same. Um, I have scavenger, ghost, and amped, and that's really all I'm changing. Finnick class I think I'm gonna completely change it. I don't think I even need it anymore. Instead, I'm going to make this my um, 4A1 and PP Bison class. doesn't even matter really if we're being honest because damage really doesn't matter in hardcore it's gonna be a two shot anyway okay and then I'm just gonna use the Renetti for now and then amped I'm gonna keep this the way it is um I'm not gonna be your way let's rename this to M or A one. There we go. M four A one class, glow class, adjustable class, which I'm going to get rid of, and I'm instead going to put. Let's put the MP seven. the mp7 um mp7 with no stock rear grip is that that's is that i'm gonna put the tack laser when i get it the yes speed is perfect and then i'll keep that open for the tack laser um mm, hard line and I would do the Cal 6 if I had him, but I guess I'll just do the knife. Um, excuse my special. Actually, let's use the price knife. I think that's the price knife. Okay, so all this is good. Um, let's rename this to the MP7. Boom hard class um I can really just rename the sniper class um we'll, we'll name it the snipper s n i p r snipper um warzone class I can basically keep shotgun class all I really need to do is make the 725 the longest barrel the sawed off stock the 5 milliwatt laser, the ADS thingy, and the this thingy, and then I'm done. And then keep the Renity on. The camo class, really all I need is just a shield and then whatever goes there. LMG class. And I'll fit. I don't even know what I just said there. Fit LMG it might be the best um, LMG that I can go with for here. But I think I'm going to go with this one because this one's pretty good too. And for this one, I'm going to put in the 100 round mags, the 5 milliwatt laser, the recoil control thingy, the movement speed thingy, the 
hideous thingy here. Might actually take that off. For this one, because it has more sprint to fire speed. And then keep that. EOD overkill. Actually, I'm gonna put on the point fifty with that sight. Um, the attack laser, the ADS, the thirteen rounds, thirteen rounds, thirteen rounds. The uh, fast trigger action. There we go. And then EOD hardline and amped with. I don't know why I would ever have that there. Um. Amped, amped, amped. Amped. Amped, 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 amped. Tracker, that's fair. Um, and then the test can really just be anything. For now, I'll just put the test as... Um... It's chaos, I guess. And then... That's really it, um... Yeah, so those are my all all ten of my um classes. So we have the MP5. It's the MP5 with the FS5 mini for more ADS speed. The operator foregrip for more recoil control. The the uh, stippled grip tape for more ADS speed, and then the back thingy for no more ADSB and the tack laser for more ADSB. Along with the Renetti, you can really have any attachments on it. Here's mine. Um, scavenger, ghost, scavenger, hardline, and amped. Um, actually high alert and amped. And then thermite and then stem. Next up we have the M4A1, M4A1 with the 12.4 um, Predator, Tac Laser, 60 round mags, stippled grip tape, no stock. Renetti, any attachments? Uh, scavenger, Hardline, Amped, C4, and Stem. Galil, um, the, the uh, CR56 Amax. Um, I don't really have this maxed out, I'm just using it right now to get it better. But I've heard that this is a pretty good gun, and from what I've used, it seems like that. The P90, the Scavenger, Overkill, and Amped, or and Stem. MP7 is seven with the um, SWAT, the FS5 SWAT, the 60 round mags, the stippled grip tape, and the no stock. And then there will be the TAC laser as well. Um, as well as Price's little knife here to make me run a little faster. Scavenger, Hardline, Amped, C4, and Stem. For the Sniper, um, we have the AX50. Not many attachments just because I don't have any. But what I would put on here is the uh, the best stock for ADS speed, which I think is this one. Um, and then I would have this stock on too. I would have this on too. I would have... that on too and then I would have um well actually the only thing that I could act add extra is the stock and then I have the Carnegie AK with the tack laser sniper scope um the the sport comb stock the sleight of hand and then stippled grip tape along with this we have scavenger overkill amps c4 and stem warzone uh this is my basically a really good warzone class um of course uh variable zoom sniper scope no stock fully loaded stippled grip tape and the uh marksman cu custom marksman uh barrel this is for late game um warzone as well you have the p p bison with the monocle reflex sight the no stock fully loaded um stippled grip tape and 84 round mags you also have double time, which, yeah, double time, um, overkill, and amped, C4, and a heartbeat sensor. Shotgun, you have the 725 with choke, um, the longest barrel, the 5 milliwatt laser to tighten the spread, um, the thingy right here to 
ADS faster, the Tempest Slim Grip, and then Sawed Off Stock. You also have Renetti, you can put any attachments on it. Um, and then you have Scavenger, Hard Amped, C4, and Stem. For Camo, it, I basically just have whatever I need for Camos. You, you can really put anything in that slot. For LMG, I have the um, MG34, and then I have the 5 milliwatt laser, the Merc uh, 4 grip, the 100 round mags, the stippled grip tape for more ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, and the no stock for more ADS speed and movement speed. This is really just something that you can walk around and um, hip fire. And then you have the .50 with the tack laser to um, for more ADS speed, the reflex sight for more visibility I guess, the stipple grip tape for more ADS speed, the 13 round mags, and then the lightweight trigger. You also have EOD, hardline amped, C4, and stem. And then for test, it's really just anything. So really, um, you can put anything in these last two classes that you want, the camo and test. Um, but everything else is just what I use. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. I upload every day, whether it be Modern Warfare, Mortal Kombat, or the podcast that I have start doing, started doing with a couple of my friends. Where I will probably, since we do it twice a week, I will get the... I won't upload it for the first week, but I'll upload, for example, the two that we do this week. Um, and then on uh, Monday, I'll upload twice uh or I'll, i will upload it wednesday i'll upload it twice wednesday and then the, ne the next monday one i'll uh edit both of them and then i'll upload both of them on that wednesday so basically you'll have two uplo uploads every wednesday which are the um podcast but i'll see you guys in the next video if you did like it hit the like button consider subscribing and I'll s again i will see you in the next one that's probably the fifth time i've said it or the third i mean um